What is up you guys, it's Boy Peace, how you guys doing? So you know, 2020 was a bad year for a lot of us. However, it is 2021 and in 2021, we are going hard, right? We are going hard, we are gonna achieve our goals and we are gonna be more productive, more happy and more successful, all right? So in this video, I'm going through my Notion setup to keep myself productive and keep myself organized. And if you guys want to, you know, kind of know how to use Notion or how I use Notion, this can be a great example of how typical Notion users use their notion like so anyway let's get right into this video and you know let's jump into my notion as you guys can see this is my notion and first thing first let's go through my 2021 goal so I have five goals in my 2021 in this year all right first is reach 50k on my youtube channel and second is read at least 10 books and third is workout goals and four financial goals and five habits because i think these five are the most important thing that i wanted to achieve in this year so each goal i have a detail tab so every time i click detail I have two do's under my details. So for example, number one, reach 50K on my YouTube channel. My detail will be like reach over 50K by the end of the year. And the second one is upload at least two videos per week, three or four if I can. So at the end of the year, I will reflect myself. And if I have a goal that I did it, if I achieve that goal, I will click off the to do. This to do is very heavy. So I cannot check off this to do until, you know, end of 2021. So this is very important. On the detail of 10 books is finish 10 books, audible or physical books, absorb it religiously because one of my bad habits is that if I finish reading one book or listen to one audible or finish reading podcasts, not reading, finish listening to podcasts, I won't like repeatedly listen to. I only listen for one time and I take couple memos here and there and I just leave it and I think that's very bad and if I'm you know spending money on audible and physical book might as well read a couple of times so I can you know absorb it religiously you know so the way you make this like detail tab is to go to basic blocks and choose toggle list so if you choose toggle list details and if you press down here you can you know basically type whatever you want and make your detail so this tab is my project tab. In this project tab, I don't really write about my school stuff or like my personal stuff, like personal CRM and stuff. I don't really do that type of stuff. Uh, in this project tab, I only put like my YouTube stuff and my other, you know, businessy type of stuff. If you know, if you know what I'm talking about, not like strictly business, but like my content creation business. So number one is video list. Video list is my YouTube video like scheduling. I use a Kanban board and I love this thing. You can kind of see the progress and stuff and Notion released a calendar version of this like, you know, progress bar, but I'm so used to this Kanban board. So I usually do it on this one. So I have to do, which is like my general video idea. I have scripting, I have shoot a roll, shoot B roll, editing and done. And after I'm done, I'm going to this hidden columns. And as you guys can see in here, this is all the videos I finished and I just move it to this one. So the cool thing about Kanban board is that you can actually make an additional page in the Kanban board so you can make it like a deck of you know project like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck you know for example the five apps and techniques that keeps me productive a day in the life video that I published like a couple days ago I have like my whole schedule like my day in this tab and in this tab I have an additional page of like you know the stuff that I wanted to talk about like my apps and my b-roll list which is the stuff I wanted to put the b-roll in the video so i usually have like a general idea and i have a rough script and under my rough script i put like you know to-do list of my b-roll list and the stuff i wanted to talk about in that page under my video list tab i have an application tab that i'm working with gaku right now and we don't really want it to show it to the public yet but this app is going to be a camera app and i think you guys will love it a lot but I won't show it to you guys yet. Just, this is a whole secret, so I'm just gonna blur it out, but let's go to the next tab. Okay, so this is my workout tracker. As I said in the beginning, I love working out. I've been working out for four or five years now, and I got this template from one YouTuber. I'm just gonna put the link in the description, but this guy, I forgot his, I forgot his name. I am so sorry, but I love his like Notion templates. It's like super simple, super easy to use, hella beginner friendly, and it's all free. This is one of like the workouts tracker that he used and I use it religiously because this thing is awesome. So in my workout, I do push pull day split. I do push pull split, push pull leg, 
split. My leg day, I already, I, I only do squats because I have a very bad knees. So I don't even have to make like, you know, workout tracker for that. I already know what I'm lifting. I already know how much progress I want. But in this push day and pull day, I can see like all the stuff all the menus I'm doing per these days and I can see what I am at now and I can see, I can kind of predict the future, all right? All right, next is my task list. Task list is basically like stuff for my college and for my personal stuff and like the stuff that I wanted to work for. It's like my college bucket list, you know, the stuff I wanted to do during college and stuff I wanted to like achieve during this four years. So number one is task list, which is like, you know, the stuff I wanted to do in my business side. And I have to admit that I'm not very, you know, constantly checking this. So as you guys can see, this is all like in the first setting. So my goals during college is the tab that I wanted to work during my four years. I'm not really gonna touch this, you know, section of this Notion page because I only gotta visit like maybe once or twice per month just to check what I'm doing. This is like my, you know, four years of work going into this one tab. And the next page in this tab is college. Uh, college tab is like the all the stuff that I have to do it, like my assignments. I have all the assignments on Kanban board, but I'm mostly done because it's almost end of the semester in Japan and I'm already done with almost all my research papers so I only have like two stuff to do other stuff such as like you know uh, my English class I have like my research paper and stuff I'm working on and I do like you know what kind of website I'm using like resources and titles structure research question like main question like you know basic structure of the essay and research paper and stuff but, like it's just it's just very boring stuff you know if you guys don't know my major my major is international studies so it's it's like all over the place, all right? So I have like, you know, I'm taking physics because I took all my requirement credits. So I'm like, it's just, it's just fun, you know? And I'm in Japanese college in Japan. So all my stuff is in Japanese except for my English class. All right, guys, let's go to the fun part of this Notion setup, which is skills. Skills is the stuff I wanted to learn that I cannot learn in college, like my, you know, SEO basics, uh, how to learn skill faster, English class, brand strategy, and like those very marketing type of stuff and other, you know, how to manage your cash flow or how to do a storytelling, how to be more healthy and stuff. There's like a random stuff that I know that is important in my life and I know I have to learn. So I have a dedicated skill tab to, you know, learn those other knowledge. All right, let's briefly go through these like pages that I'm working on for my skills and how I take notes, I guess. In English class, I have like a bunch of stuff like verb articles, very basic stuff, you know, because I still have problem with my English and my English is not 100%. So I have to learn English and I'm taking English class on YouTube and Skillshare. And there's a bunch of like English class, like grammar class on YouTube and Skillshare, which is pretty awesome. And most of the skills I learn are like most of the like cameras and cinematography stuff or other, you know, like my marketing stuff I learn on YouTube and Skillshare. So if you guys want to learn stuff, Skillshare and YouTube is highly recommended. And I have like copywriting. Sometimes I use a note on my good notes because sometimes I just wanted to, you know, write something handwritten. So I use a good notes to write my notes and I export it as an image or PDF and I just like put it on Notion and that works very well because sometimes you just like handwriting is good, you know, it's, it's kind of cool sometimes. Hand, handwritings are cool, all right? Handwritings are cool. So this is like my podcast memo page. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to around two, three times a day, like minimum. And when I was watching Ali Abdal, he was saying that he wished that he took notes from like podcasts and books and stuff every time he listened or read them and there's like good quotes in it. But so I was like, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. So I decided to, you know, take some podcast memos. And this is not only a podcast. I listen to Audible. I read like books and I watch anime and stuff. And if there's like some good quotes or some, you know, strategies or philosophical meaning and stuff, I usually write on this podcast memo. And I have like a dedicated tab, like marketing, Jocko Willings, uh, HIBT, how I build this and stuff and personal work and stuff. I just like take a couple of like brief notes about each stuff. 25 hours a day. If you guys never read or, you know, listen to 25 hours a day by Nick Bear, this book will kick your ass. It's a really good book. And this is, this makes you very motivated. I'm on my like second time reading this and 
highly recommend it. 10 common mistake for a new business and stuff. I didn't put number 10 because I'm 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 always half assing. You know, I'm I'm a very lazy person, okay? I don't go through all of it. Even I wish I'm more organized. Sometimes I just not that organized, all right? And if I want to search on different tabs such as like work and stuff, I can go see like my work tab related memos. And I think this is like the best part of Notion. You can categorize it, each memos or page or notes that you take it on, and you can just like, you know, put everything in one page and you can separate it by tags. All right, next one is finance tab because as a broke college student, I need to keep myself organized when it comes to finance and everything I spend, every subscription, food, transportation, how much I made in like my part-time job, freelance job on YouTube. I need to collect everything in this finance tab. I made a dedicated video about this finance tab and how I budget stuff so if you guys want to check that video out please go check it out somewhere but this is very important for me because I need to do all my taxes and I, t I need to do a bunch of stuff when it comes to money because money is very frustrating but yeah this is like my tabs that I can keep myself organized in 2021 and I, I can achieve my goals in 2021 as you guys can see I don't really go super hard in notion I love notion I use notion every single day but if you guys seen other notion youtubers they go super hard. I'm like, bro, how how you guys even like keep organized those stuff? So I keep it very simple. I usually outsource like to-do lists. I usually outsource like my time management calendar and stuff on other applications because I can use Notion for all of it, but I wanted to, you know, make it diversified. I wanted to make it diverse so I can have fun with applications. But yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like my very, you know, brief, easy, quick video about my Notion setup to keep myself organized in 2021. And I hope you guys can make this as an example for, you know, your 2021 goal. Because in 2021, we're going hard much as possible. We're going to do whatever we can to become more happy, more successful, and more productive. All right. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. I'll put like my real day in the life iPad Air 4 video right here. And I'll put like my budget video that I just talked about right here. And I will put like my random video about productivity right here. And I'll put my channel right here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys see you next time. My name is Peace Gates and you guys already know. Peace out, guys.